Welcome to our special uh, quarantine chat from the American Marketing Association. My name is Steve Heisler. I'm a staff writer for Marketing News, and I'm here with Sarah Steimer, Managing Editor from Marketing News. Hey, Sarah. Hi. How are you, Steve? Doing well. Being trapped in these four walls. But, uh, <laughs> we're still making do. We're still getting some stuff done. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to just communicate with you guys the kinds of things that we've been working on, what we've been learning, uh, tips that marketers can use during this time. If you want more tips, you can always join our mailing list. You can join by visiting ama.org slash daily. We send out an email newsletter every week with articles and ideas and tips, and it's great. I use Not it just every week, every day, Monday through Friday. Oh, my God. I completely forgot. Does time, <laughs> time even exist anymore in this like bubble nope. that we live in? Yeah, it is filled up by AMA Daily. It's ama.org slash daily. First of all, I do have to say, even though we are not in the office, if you have ever been through um, our headquarters in Chicago, you know that we actually have a Mad Men room. And I feel like I have like a little piece of the office here since I do have a picture of Joan Holloway <laughs> on my wall. That's this is true. not from our office, but I actually have, I have um, four total uh, Mad Men characters. So maybe like as we continue to do these videos, you'll see like a new character appearing on my wall. Anyhow, you know, welcome to my home, first of all. Yes, but, very, this is kind of a weird intimate moment for everybody because yeah. we're seeing all of our decorations, but. Yes, it's good to know that you're a fan. I don't know about you, Steve, but ever since I've started to write about marketing, I'm hyper aware of marketing, I'm hyper aware of advertising, et cetera. And I wanted to get a feel from you if you had any, uh, if you've noticed any marketing or advertising, uh, what have you, that has kind of really seemed to hit the nail on the head a little bit um, as far as our new reality, as far as a pandemic. I'll, I'll give you an example. I um, noticed that one of my favorite wine shops here in Chicago uh, now has this option where, you know, yes, you can call them, they'll like show you their uh, inventory and you can choose your wine that way. But they also have this option of fill out this form, tell us if you want four bottles or six bottles, what percentage white, what percentage red, how much you want to spend, all of that. And I think one of the things that they're really marketing that you would normally get if you were to go into the wine shop is their expertise. You know, you'd be able to walk in there on a Friday night and be like, hey, heading over to a buddy's house, we're having pizza, what do you recommend to go with the pizza? And that to me was just really, really smart marketing because it wasn't this, you know, harping on the fact that like, oh, you're at home, we, we know that you're probably drinking more, whatever it may be. They were like, look, we know what you still want from us. We can still offer that to you without you having to actually come into the store. And that to me is such a great marketing tool, especially when like it's causing so much stress to do something as simple as grocery shop or walk down the street to have someone to sort of make our lives a little bit easier by handling something like that. That's one of the best things I've seen so far, at least from like a local company for sure. There's a company I really like, they're called Jackbox Games. They make these really fun sort of party games that you can play on your computer. I think it's meant for, you buy these games, they're kind of like a fun, you know, there's a drawing version where you, they give you a prompt and you have to draw a picture. Other people have to guess what the prompt was. I think that the games are meant to be played on a single TV. You have people over, you put it up on your TV. Oh, I'm looking at my TV, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just veering away. But they maybe haven't encouraged in the past is, post this screen to some sort of program like a Zoom or a Ring Central or something, uh, share the screen and then we can all play remotely. I'm not sure if that was part of their uh, toolbox before this, but now that we all are remote, we're all bored, but we're mostly just hurting for companionship and hurting for connection. So what they did was they released one of their most popular programs for free and they posted on their website specific instructions as to how to play the game remotely. Yeah. So what I like about that is they're taking something that people were already doing, but they're formalizing it and sharing it and providing an opportunity for people to literally bring this brand into their home. And that's actually like the perfect intersection of like the two things that like we have picked out as being great. Cause actually when we did this with other members of the content team the other day, I cracked open one of the bottles of wine that was recommended and delivered to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, by the company right. I'm talked about. So look at this, look at this confluence of all these things. We've all had our email inboxes flooded with, here's how this brand is dealing with COVID-19. Here's our statement about how we're doing this. Here's how we're doing this. But what I like about these examples is, why don't you just experience what it is that we're doing? We're going to try to, we can't control everything about this virus, but let's control what we can which is mm -hmm. maybe that one or two hours when we're having a happy hour with our team. Or for right. you, it's like, if you're having a Skype dinner with somebody, you can have like a nice wine with mm -hmm. you. Right. Brands who are really honing in on what they can do best right now to help people and to, in a way, it's demonstrating empathy. I did hear something today. Uh, I haven't fact checked this yet, but um, I did hear something that the open rates for emails that have COVID in the subject line is really shrinking. If you haven't put out your general statement by now, it's probably not what people are looking for anymore. You know, maybe I was willing to open that email from my bank, you know, when this first all hit, because it was like, I don't know how this is going to affect my banking. Of course, I want to see this now. I mean, I'd probably still open it since it is from my bank if it still said COVID-19, honestly. Yeah, but like, I just want to make it very clear, everybody, open emails from your bank. Yes, right, right, it's right. But like, these, uh, illegal bank activity. Yeah, but if like you know, a shoe company is telling me still more about it, unless it's about how they're willing to donate to um, essential employees with their shoes or something like that, you know, it's not going to be something that I'm dying to open at this point. If you have anything um, that you have questions about, um, you can reach either of us. Um, but if you want to send something to me personally, um, that email address is ssteimer at ama.org. And I'll leave it to Steve to uh, actually put that somewhere at the bottom of the screen, somewhere around here, <laughs> so that if you have any questions, if you want to contribute something, if you want to let us know what information would be helpful to you and your organization, definitely give us a heads up. I just wanted to reiterate that if you have any questions, please reach out. We'd love to talk to you guys during this time because we're working with relatively tight turnarounds. We want to give you content that is going to be helpful for you. So please reach out. Uh, and just want to reiterate that if you visit ama.org slash daily, you can sign up for our daily <laughs> email uh, alerts and you'll find things that we're working on, articles that we found to be very helpful. Uh, mm -hmm. Other than that, we are excited to bring you more of these and we'll We'll see, we'll see you all soon. <laughs> all right. Bye everyone. Bye Steve.